In this information age, the demand for data scientists is on the rise. Many non-tech professions are benefiting from studying data science, a skill that sets them apart from the crowd. We talked to Chris Basalai, a Moringa School Technical Mentor and an AI specialist and the founder of Nairobi AI, where he shed some light on what it takes to become a data scientist. So my background coming into data science has been in uh, telecommunications engineering. So I did my undergrad in Data and Kimadi University of Technology. And uh, basically I got interested in programming from a very early point. I had to sort of veer off and learn programming on my own. So take the self-taught path. So um, <clears throat> leveraging from a confluence of skills that I got along the way, ranging from web technologies to IoT. I was able to suck my way into machine learning, sort of in a very natural transition. And also it happened that in the mid-years of my university, I got selected as an Intel student ambassador. And so basically, um, I was my, my main role was to go around Kenya and the wider East Africa region and train students uh, on anything machine learning. So think about the algorithms that you use on a day-to-day -day in machine learning. Um, but also, um, even apart from that, I, I really had a, re a very cool lecturer, so Dr. Shira Maina. He's a, a well-renowned expert in the machine learning field. Um, and so he took me through uh, some artificial intelligence courses. And that in itself laid a very strong foundation to my journey in data science. As I got my feet deeper into data science, my biggest challenge, uh, I would say, is finding rich African data sets that you can work with. Um, just finding them openly was a big, a very big issue. But I'm confident that um, in a very few, in some years, we'll have a lot of data that we can work with as data scientists, just to even see where we can um, optimize some of these business processes. There are also some untold truths to data science. So learning data science is not the easiest of things. So if you find someone who is not um, high-spirited um, when they are getting into data science, they might sort of veer off and say that um, they call it quits within the first few weeks of learning data science. So also, breaking into the market as a data scientist was not the easiest of things. So many African companies are still trying to grapple uh, where data science fits within their business processes. And so you find that most companies really don't see the essence of having a data scientist or a data analyst or a data engineer within the organization. So the real highlight for me as a data scientist, I believe, is the actual work. Because I get to use programming for more than just displaying data on a GUI. I get to construct algorithms and pipelines, and then use existing data um, to create visualizations and get insights from that data that is of value to any company. I also just think that rocking the data science badge is a cool thing. Um, it's no secret that at the moment, uh, being a data scientist is <coughs> one of the hottest jobs, quote unquote. And so I believe that someone just having that gives you immense advantage in terms of the job pull out there. And then also, uh, the amount of impact that you can bring to any company. Think of it in a way that a data scientist literally has um, a big impact on any business process. Seeing that amount of impact, I think, I believe to me, is one of the greatest things and one of the biggest things that brings satisfaction when you see your actual output uh, being implemented in a business process. Interested in studying data science? Share with us any questions you have and we'll give you all the information you need.